What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Ravnica Day. It's happy Ravnica Day. It's uh, kind of like Mike's birthday, but it's, it's Ravnica Day instead. How do I never have packs? Anyway, we're just going to go get a pack so we can we can do the deed on Ravnica Day. Happy Ravnica Day to all. I sub to you for our friendship. I sub to Kibler because Hearthstone is a fun game that I love more than MTG, despite MTG paying my rent. Yeah, it's really weird. It's got no point for me to where I'm like, I don't even know if I like magic the most, but it's the thing I have to do. It's I'm really like locked into it, which is it's kind of awkward. I do love magic a lot, though. Don't get me wrong. I would not, I would not be committing this much time and energy to it if I did not love magic. But there's definitely times where I'm like, I would like to try something else and put put that much emotion and heart and energy into it as magic, but it's not. It's almost like I don't have that luxury. Kibler's stream actually doesn't have beards like this. That's actually a good point. I had not considered that. And despite Brian being older than me, I have significantly more gray hair than him. So. One just here for the Frank buck. I appreciate that. You know what? You know why you're a good friend, Kerwit? Because even when I crush you in the modern queues, you still you still you still give un unending support. I actually like the idea of variety streams. The problem is they don't do like my problem with my only my only issue with variety streams is that like if I did like I used to do like first person Friday where I'd play like a, a first person shooter on Friday and then you know eventually play through the whole game. The problem is that, um, like even on like YouTube and on Twitch, like it just doesn't do anything for me. Like, so it's basically like taking a day off of work to play those things, you know, because like the the audience isn't there for that kind of thing for me at least. So it's just tricky. So I feel like I would I'd be more better I'd be better off doing my magic stream or magic content and then just playing the rest of my free time when um you know Just watch a video on getting over it and wow that's something what does that mean? Three and a half thousand hours in Dota 2? Holy smokes, man. Really, that's insane. I like Shark to Crab. I also like Frilled Mystic. Which is the better Simic card in this pack, guys? Seeing as we're drafting against real human beings. Neither of them will likely come back. You like Mystic better than Shark to Crab? I actually do, too. Font of Agonies. Whenever you pay life, yep, that's might as well be blank. Oh, Law Mage's Binding is very, very nice. It's very nice. I'm going to take the Law Mage's Binding. So we have one for Mystic, one for Shark to Crab, one for Mystic, one for Shark to Crab. So that's good. 50 50. About where I'd expect. Oh, getting over it is the game where you're like, where it has like the really weird narration and you're just trying to like, you have the stick and you're trying to like push yourself forward. Yeah, okay. I know. I, I'm familiar with that game. Oh, a stomping ground? What is this worth again? I think it's a dollar. But I have to check. If this is on Arena, I wouldn't even have to look. I'd just be like, eh. A dollar twenty-eight. Hmm. Rampaging Rendhorn is a card I really, I think is very strong, but I also never see it. And now, now we see it. So are we just splashing white for this because this card's great? We could take Arrestor's Admonition, which is, it's good if we're if we're good if we're good or, it's good if we're Azorius or if we're uh, Simic here. I want to take the Arrestor's Admonition. I do like an Absorb. I also like a Troll Bread Guardian. I don't think Absorb is better than. <laughs> God damn, I love you. I love you too, buddy. Twenty three months. Happy, happy almost two year anniversary, buddy. Always a pleasure, friendo. One take the dollar card buck, hey, but it's gone now. But it's gone now. I play Dota way more, mostly competitively, way more seriously than I do MTG. I can't really play Dota for fun. Wow, that's insane. I didn't know you were that interested in Dota competitively. Why would I? I don't. I guess, but I think Troll Red Guardian is probably better than Absorb. So here's the thing about Absorb: like the three life is not super relevant when it's only a one of, and you're not playing like a control deck like in standard. So this is actually probably worse than the normal. Uh, 
like the three minute counter spell that's in here normally. So I'm just gonna go with the five five. Oh, another frilled mystic. Okay, well now we're having a good time. Simic Guildgate. This one, thought collapse. That's what I'm talking about. Probably just gonna take the Guildgate here. Leaping, galloping Lizrog. I I've never like galloping Lizrog is like hit or miss. Usually it's a three three for five. Or it's decent, but the problem is you like want to cast it on five, and you've rarely adapted many of your creatures at that point. But the other options are like Slime Bind or Wrecking Beast, and I think Galloping Lizrog has the most upside here. Uh, Mammoth Spider, Fairy Duelist is actually probably better than Mammoth Spider at, at this point in my life. Five five triple for five that shrinks when your other creatures doesn't seem great, but a seven seven for five. The problem is it's not really shrinking your guys usually. Usually it's just resetting their 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 adept adapt adapt not adept. You get it. Sylvan Brushstrider seems fine. All right, so we're probably gonna not play binding unless we get some really good fixing. You're in the top 1% of Dota players in the world? Not good enough to make money from it, but definitely above average. <laughs> Considering your job and your lifestyle, I don't think that's actually true. Maybe in gaming, perhaps, but not in life, I don't think. And we just got a Mammoth Spider anyway, which is pretty nice. Dude, what, top 1% of players is insane. Wow, I'm like, I'm like seriously impressed. I had no idea. This is a shock to me. I'm not good at games like Dota and League because I'm really bad at games that uh, require physical dexterity, right? Like games that, um, where like I win more if I'm able to to press buttons faster than someone else, or like hit or like macro things or spam things. Like that's that's actually more difficult for me. I like it when my when the game is reliant on my my being able to outthink someone or, or you know, turn-based things where I can take my time, make a move, then it's your turn, you can make a move. A shock to you. Is that a magic pun? No, believe it or not, shock is a real word that's used in, uh, in English, in spoken English, in written English. The worst part about putting eye drops in is that you can't see yourself do it, so you could actually look totally ridiculous and you would never know. I wanna take this Steeple Creeper. This deck's actually looking pretty good. Double Frilled Mystic, Troll Red Guardian. I'm okay with all of this. Probably not playing this dude, but it's a, it's a 1-3. It's nice to have. Scuttle Gator. Two to three Simic Guild Gates is totally fine. It's they're nice because you have double frilled mystic now, so now they're a little more a little more useful. I'm watching on two screens right now. That's weird. You're being weird right now. Just stop it. Just stop it, Carwit. No, it's fine. Are they completely synced up? They have to be, right? No, they don't have to be because the browser windows could be uh out of sync. So, I like Skitter Eel. I like Two Drop Guy. But I also just kind of like Arcway Angel. We're not going to take the Angel. We have one gate so far. I'm pretty sure it's Sorrowfoam Hybrid. Oh, put a mirror on the ceiling. That's actually a good idea. I'll be like, oh, look. I do look ridiculous. Guardian Project? This deck has become unbeatable all of a sudden. Ideally, this Chillburner comes back, but never happening. We're just going to take Guardian Project. We have lost... Zagana. All right, so we're just going to take all the rares and all the Simic rares that are given to us. Oh, yeah, this deck is gas already.
Guardian Project into Zagana. What a day. What a glorious day. What a glorious day. One is a 40 inch TV on my desk and the other is a 32 inch monitor also. But why? <laughs> but why? Uh, probably want some Guildgate here over a second brush strider. I want to be able to play my frilled misties. Applied biomancy? Sure. Skitter eel? Sure. Fairy duelist? Sure. I'd rather have our first applied biomancy than our second fairy duelist. How many hours would you say you put into Dark Souls 3? Oh, pack three, pick one, Crassus. Gollum, Nick, please, dude. Nick, please. Nick, I have to go to S. I have to go to CGC sometime next week and drop off some books. Do you want me to drop anything off for you, buddy? Is this arena? No, this is. Uh... Um, I kind of like Admi Ad Arrestor's Admonition better than Applied Biomancy Number Two, just because it uh, does draw us a card. It fits a little better on this curve that we got going here. Also, I think it's more likely that we can pick up more Applied Biomancies. Because it's more it's more restrictive than Arrestor's admonition, so three thousand hours in Dark Souls? That's insane, dude. Jealousy of being able to just drop it. The problem with dropping books off at CGC is that in order to have an in-person drop-off, you need to have at least 15 books. So I try to time it so that every time I drop something off, I have another 15 books I can drop off to get graded. What books am I dropping off? Just a bunch of modern variants. Just a bunch of modern version covers and stuff. Nothing nothing old. Um... I think the game that I put the most hours in is OG EverQuest. 5,000 plus hours. I've definitely... I wonder how much, how many hours I put into Magic in general. I kind of want this just because we do have a Zagana. We have... Yeah, I'm just going to take the other Lizrog. I think it's better than the 7 drop, so... Yeah, our deck looks pretty ridiculous right now. On World of Warcraft, I have over 3 370 days in game playtime, and those are actual days. Wow. Yeah, obviously they like a day for for playtime for playtime's sake would be twenty four hours. So nine thousand. I mean, how many years have you been playing it? I, yeah, that's true. I mean, it's it's been a while. I wish there was there was also a way to keep track of your Magic Online uptime or like game even match time, like how much all of your total matches have added up to. Oh, uh, I like a brush strider. That's a late Arcway Angel, man. People got no respect. Oh, gross spiral, sure. Good deal. Last CGC I got was Detective Comics 116, graded 1.8, cracked it open, and the spine was split. Oh. Oh. Yeah, but it's supposed to be, right? Was wouldn't it wouldn't it wouldn't you expect it to be because of the 1.8? Like that was a that was a that was covered by the one point eight. I mean, right? That wasn't like an additional. And it wow, we still have another pack. Our deck is done, and we have another pack left. You get what I'm saying, Nick? What was that you said? What is this? Oh, don't demonetize me, bro. Oh my god, <laughs> it's, it's been a while. Uh, uh. Spine swirls any kind of the label. Spine swirls usually, but oh god. Yep, swirling torrent is pretty much busted. I I had my Punisher, my first appearance of the Punisher Amazing Spider-Man 129 graded, and it was a copy that I got from an old friend. Uh, it was pretty beat up. I bought it from from for twenty bucks back in like, God, probably like two thousand, 
maybe. And I've had it ever since. So I finally got it graded. And it was like a 1.5. And they were like, yeah, it's pretty low. And I'm like, yeah, but I expected that. So I'm totally fine with it. Like, it's just the fact that it's a spider. It's a, it's a, it's a Spider-Man. It's an ASM 129 graded in a sleeve, in a, in a, in a slab now. And it's just fine. Oh, uh, this is actually pretty good. Incongruity is nice. I'm going to take out one of these growth spirals now. We have to cut cards already. This guy should not be uncommon, right? Like, it's just a 2-1 for 2 that... It's like you're not putting the cards on the top. You're putting them... Or you're not putting them in your hand, right? You're not drawing anything. I probably put about 13,000 hours into Red Dead 2. That's probably true. But you you also have been getting... You get paid for those hours as well. I hate taking a second pick Biomancy. I don't think it's that great, but... Followed by another Rusters admonition. Axbane, eh. I'll take the reclamation. Whatever. I don't think that pack is really gonna do anything for us. Eh, slime bind is nice to have. I'll take a slime bind. Cement Guildgate's nice. I would also wouldn't mind having a Stony Strength because it does combo well with the, the Lizrogs and the Zagana. Oh, we can actually kill one of the Brush Striders. I don't think we need three of those guys. Also cut the Scuttle Gator. Oh, General, yeah, let me actually get back to you after this. Uh, you never answered. Could you tell me a way to grade some comics? I'm from Mexico, so I have the problem being not being American. Um, yeah, let me let me I'll I'll check your message and I'll respond to it after this. Let me take this Savage Smash in case we can find, like, three Gruel Gates coming back. Wow. Oh, another hybrid. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, I'm just going to take this. Mm, Steeple Cooper is nice. Yeah, no problem, buddy. No problem. I think you sent it to me when I, I when I didn't really know you that well. And I still don't like know you that well, but like you're obviously we're we're cooler now. So Yeah, our deck is pretty nuts. This is not a four drop. It's more likely a three drop. I think the removal component is pretty nice. <laughs> this is like the first step to a relationship. I'm so nervous. Yeah, now we've uh, we've gone from friends to Facebook friends, and uh, pretty soon it'll be complicated. So. So we got 15 creatures, tons of like interaction, two frilled mystics, really some really powerful creatures, a really strong spell here, another growth spiral, lots of tricks. This deck seems great. Seven, eight, done. Perfect. I could see playing the Applied Biomancy over something, maybe over Gross Spiral, but I do like being able to go Gross Spiral into Frilled Mystic. And it always cycles. I'm pretty sure the first step to our relationship was you walking into my work and giving money. Oh, the Chris, how did we meet? What was our like first interaction? Chris, that was the first time we met when I just came in and played FNM. That's crazy. You 
You sound like a sincerely jolly person, one of the few streamers who makes you feel like he's actually enjoying what he's doing. Thank you. That's actually an amazing compliment. Thank you for saying so. I try to be. I try to look on the the bright side. Look on the bright side of life. Who sings? What is that from? Always look on the bright. It's literally from a movie. You drafted a fart. <laughs> Oops, you did it again. You drafted a fart. Got locked in the packs. <laughs> it's not Life of Ryan that I'm thinking though. It's from it's it's also in something else. The one I'm thinking of is from something else. Although it is originally from from Life of Brian. Live at the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah, that's probably it. Oh, this is how it's going to be? I mean, we got Sage's Rose Savant. This is actually fine. One green, we get to play this on turn two into, like, this guy. Pump it, play Zagana. It's, I think this is all right. I do get land violated a lot. That's actually, it's actually true. It's kind of my thing. I'm going to get a tattoo of a land on myself. And then people are going to be like, why did you get a tattoo of a land on yourself? And I'm going to be like, because I never have enough. I'm going to actually bottom both of these. Like, I want another island, but I don't think it's really... Like, another island doesn't do anything for us right now because we're really just looking for a green. Another A green would get us to this. Like, an island really does nothing. Eight point two out of ten. Oh, that's good. I appreciate that extra two points. That's actually green. Well, that's a green card. This is how we lose. Our deck is actually fantastic. We have seventeen lands, the two guild gates, and uh, here we are. We did it, boys. We did it. Well, we're going to gross... Well, I guess we don't have to actually gross spiral now, right? Like, because we play the land at any point. And we don't have any two drops that we're really going to take advantage of a gross spiral, so... Always look on the bright side of life. Do we block and just force them to use their turn? I'm fine with this. Semi Guild Gate. Hey, hey, man. We're actually going to play this guy. I don't want to keep up Frilled Mystic because if we have nothing on the board, they have no incentive to play anything. So you got to get to a point where, like, you have something on the board. They have to, to, to play things out. See, now I'm tempted to block here because if they do pump again, we get to trade... And they're not doing anything, right? But then we get to keep up Frilled Mystic, and they have to commit something to the board unless they just have 1-1. One, one. Which I think is fine. Like, we've they've invested 8 mana into this guy, and they still lose this guy, which is totally fine. And we could play Trollbred Guardian. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they're not they're not there yet. I 
Oh, this is going to be nice. So now we're now we're talking. One, two, three, four, five, six. I like being able to adapt here, make a seven seven, then this guy's still just a five five. Cause the thing is, like, if we play this guy, like it's I just don't want them to have this on board. I mean, this is a fair card. To be fair, this is not an unfair card. It has a very restrictive mana cost. It costs four mana. It's a great card. Oh, it's old Bull. Bull Rackham's McGee. I'm going to arrest his admonition and then just flip this buddy boy. This is such a huge tempo swing. They just have to pay an extra five now. Now we attack for ten, and then we still get to, we just get to play like Zagana Steeple Creeper next turn. Draw a card. Pretender's done quick. <laughs> Oh man, Pretender Mander. Oh, that's amazing. <sighs> Always. I bull wrecked in my mouth once, that's why I'm so swole. Because you bull wrecked in your mouth? In your own mouth? Rob, when are you coming over so we can stream again, buddy? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is brutal. And that should be the end, dude. This is rough. So we just pump this dude next turn. She's an 8-8 and then she gets trample. Yikes. That That is what's known as a yikes for me, dog. I don't see any problems with our deck whatsoever. Came from the throat. Oh, so you bulleracked up from your throat into your into your mouth. And then you became swole from that? From in, So your swoleness is internal. This is all very fascinating. Big yikes if true. <laughs> oh, God. Illusions donate GG is Rob. Yes. <clears throat> we are calling mouths beef holes now on this stream. I don't I don't know if this is correct. Always look on the bright side of life. Yep, you got it. AKA Swollen Michael, AKA Savannah Man, AKA FNM Champ. God, he's so, he's got so many names. I will take two. Your guy is definitely not better than my guy. Josh with a gifted sub, only, only up to 147 subs. 147 times five bones. Yeah, that's only $735 worth of subs. That's that's a totally reasonable amount. Uh, I think we can just wait a turn, right? Like, I, we, next turn we get Mammoth Spider or Gallop Galloping Liz Rod. We don't really have to... I, I'd rather keep the incongruity up in case they have some kind of... Some kind of sickness.
Yeah, it's fine. Are they pumping this guy? Oh, wow. Very aggressive. In the words of Teddy KGB, very aggressive. I'm not going to attack because we may not block, but we may want to. They could steal our spider and then attack us with it. Then I would probably block, and then like we just have spider on board and they have nothing. Yep, this is literally what I thought they'd do. I'm just taking five, actually. I'm not going to jump block here. That's a fascinating choice. Okay. See, now I'm going to use incubation. Let's see if we can find something good. Yep, that'll do. All right, so we can actually just sit here and do nothing. Yep, that is fine. They have three cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're just going to counter it. I don't want to keep sitting here with this guy in hand, so. Oh my god, that chicken was delicious. We'll stream for chicken. He will actually. Rob will come over and you guys will order us uh, Boston Market. And that's all he really wants. We're at four. That's actually kind of scary. Well, this sets us up next nicely for the next two turns, hopefully. Actually, this is great. We can keep both of these. Uh, we can put this. We can put Arrestor's Admonition on top. We can bounce their guy next turn and then uh, draw the Brush Strider in the same turn and play it. They're at five already? Wow. I guess they just took nine, so that's pretty ridiculous one two three four five six they don't have seven so they can't cast if i come and visit can we stream eating chris if you come visit we can do anything you want dude i would love for you to come and visit that sounds like a friggin blast if you want to stream eating wings we'll do it if you want to stream us playing hearthstone we'll do it if you want me to down download sea of thieves or whatever and we want to play it i'll do it we'll do it whatever you want to do the healy giraffe seems great he's all right Yeah, I did hear that you stopped playing Sea of Thieves. I think you told me that. Or like me and you and Mike talked about it. Me and you and uh, McGimp.
Although if you do want to come over and, and stream eating wangs, that might be that might actually be against the Twitch terms of service. Part-time player. If I come visit, can we go to Disney World? I've never been there. My parents didn't love me as a child. Yes, we can. We can totally go to Disney World if you come. Just want to let you know before I go out on errands that I watch all your content on YouTube and I really enjoy work. Have a great... Legato Reaper, thank you so much for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. Enjoy your errands, buddy. Like you do. I'm actually going to win most slam this because I think this is going to win us the game and Frilled Mystic can draw us a card. I'm going to hope you don't play anything bonkers, but we do have a Rester's Admonition if you do. Wow, no way. Disney World is gas, dude. You might be jaded as a Floridian. Hey, Legato, before you go run errands, I want you to know I saw your comment and read, and I read it all, and I loved it. Rob, you were in a surprisingly good mood today, I think. Yeah, I think as Floridians, we get a little, uh, we get a little burnt out on it. Like, oh, Disney, yeah, that's cool. But it's like going to the Space Needle when you live in Seattle. You're like, oh, that's cool. It's a Space Needle. It's a, it's a touristy thing, right? But like, it's still super cool. Like, Disney is super cool. Chris, you've never been to Disney World or Disneyland? Have you have you been to Harry Potter World? Oh, this is amazing. They're gonna they're not gonna do anything. We get to untap with Frilled Mystic and Guardian Project. Wow. And they missed a land drop? No, they didn't. It's, it's turn four. They played their land, played Sphinx inside, sure. That's more of a she Chris thing. Okay, that's fair. That is fair. I kind of want to bounce this, but I think I'll just take, we'll just take the one. I mean, I'm actually pretty comfortable just sitting here playing lands when they have this board, because it's like, okay. Bush Gardens is pretty all right. This is actually frilled mysticable, I think, because it's really powerful. It's a powerful wizard. That's a yikes from me, dog. <coughs> What's I guess no blocks. No blockies, because we don't have any flyings. We don't have any flyings, so we can't do any blockings. You know how it goes. Flyings and blockings. It's a tale as old as time. I want you guys to watch something magical, are you ready? Let's see how this works. Dang it. I was hoping they block with this so we can pump this guy and bounce our mystic. I think that's still pretty okay. 
I mean, to be fair, if we hit another land, we can add Arrestor's Admonition, our Mystic, get a free Counterspell in hand. It will still trigger on the Guardians project, so we'll have drawn one from this and one from this. What is going on here? Oh, two two one one boys? Okay. I guess that's fine. Those one one boys are at it again. Did I blow into the mic? Was it from whistling? It was probably from whistling. My bad. <laughs> that's my bad. Um Oh, and we get to draw a card? Wow, I totally forgot about that. Holy Jesus, this card is broken. <gasps> oh, wow. Guys. <laughs> Guys. Oh, God, to just have it all. This is not a real... This is not a real game of magic. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight mana. So we can actually arrest their admonition one of these guys, which I think is fine. Because then they can't trade with any of our onboard gentlemen. <laughs> so we're random. Neon Togo, 68, 61. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. You are the best. Thank you, dude. So random. Are you a real game of magic? I don't... Mm, no. <clears throat> that seems better. I don't want the... I don't want you to... Oh, no blocks. Okay. Yep, that seems fine. I mean, this does block most of our things, but... Oh my god. <laughs> it's just like play all the things. Oh, I guess we have to use a green for this. I guess. I guess. We got that even number now. We are at 600. That is true. Okay, so green, this one, hybrid. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Drawing a card when we play most of our spells is pretty insane. I need to donate 150 to you so we can kick off the next vital donation goal. Yeah, like I said, if we get if we once we finish this donation goal, we are going to uh, interesting. One, two, three. Are we going to uh, start a donation goal to get Elk Tears and Lafuff down here to hang out and make some make some make some stream magic? <clears throat> Alright, um, so they don't have enough creatures that I'm really super concerned with. We can pump both of these guys. So we're just gonna do the do the Terabads. And I think you're dead. <laughs> My exaxes. Oh god. I didn't do any math there, I just kinda turned them all sideways and let I let God sort them out. Let's get them draft boys. <laughs> oh, Josh. Josh, your your the amount of support you give to this stream is actually overwhelming and like I'm pretty sure I, I'm just going to go broke and, and stop uh creating content when you're gone because I don't actually understand how I'd survive. Really appreciate it, buddy. You are awesome. They have two 4-4s. Four a Steeple Creeper might be better than a second Brush Strider just because it's a uh, it's the floatiest of boys. Gifts of Strength also gives reach, so that's pretty good. God, we haven't seen we haven't seen Swirling Torrent yet. Our deck is pretty insane. This is probably one of the best the best decks I've drafted here. 
I just got like a 13% bonus. For, oh, wow. 13% bonus is insane. That's that's actually... Dude, that's awesome. Congrats. Congrats. <clears throat> Josh, where do you work? Do you work in, do you work in San Francisco? If you don't mind giving it away on stream. Or for private equity, can we be based out of the Trans America building? Where is the Trans America building? You see, you know. Oh, this is nice because we can grow spiral into. Your deck is good. My math is bad. I didn't even count. I just turned them sideways. I don't blame you. I feel like as an art fan, I should know what the Transamerica building is. I'm going to Google it right now, and I'm sure when I see it, I'm going to be like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> that is a good-looking building. One of the Google questions, can visitors go to the top of the pyramid? The answer, if you're rich, you're famous. Oh, well then. This card is busted, don't counter it, I don't want you to do that. Oh, it resolved? Oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> Are you in the really pointy part on the top? <laughs> nah. Oh, this is this is a good dude. All right. The problem is we actually have no way to get rid of this guy outside of the exile at make it a frog. Cassius, let's all do our part for those draft boys. Wow, this is insane. You guys are doing... Oh, wow, the one card we wanted. So we make this guy a Frogums. We get our guy back. We can also bounce it, hope to draw land, replay it, and then they still have to, like... Yep, that's what I was hoping for, just so we can hit one more land. Yeah, that's pretty good. So now they have to spend their turn doing it again, but then now we can we can incongruity, get rid of their guy, and play Sylvan Brush Strider in the same turn. <clears throat> oh wow, did they just summary judgment our guy? Why are you being this rude? Being able to just have Guardian Guardian project out is pretty nuts. ML Cool G, thank you so much. I only sub for Mikey. Well, he's not even here right now. So joke's on you, buddy.
Important exams tomorrow. Everyone is learning on lear learning on learning or sleeping. I am a bit drunk and watching my favorite streamer. Fun fact: I am the supervisor and have the exam and the solution right next to me while every student is going crazy. What would possibly go on? <laughs> well, those are the perks. It seems. <clears throat> No one has ever given me a frog lizard. In any other context, I run away screaming. I would understand. I get that. So this guy's not going to draw us a card, unfortunately. But... Is a frog lizard a frizzard? It's a lizrog, remember? It's already a card. It's a lizrog. All right, you know what time it is, guys. Sometimes I just sit here and I'm like, God, I'm way too cool for this stream. I don't understand. Even numbers, shmeven numbers. Did we just hit seven? Seven oh three fifty eight. If Badger was here, he'd just finish it off like a hundred percent. Because that's what he does. Uh, what do we got? Four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> wow, Elk Tears, Elk Tears and LaFuff are going to be visiting way sooner than I thought. This is pretty ridiculous. Um, if three cards. We haven't seen any counter spells. I feel like this is probably not wrong. I'm just going to attack with this guy. Oh, they could actually play. They have two. Yeah, this is what I figured. I forgot they had two of these. That's rough. And it gives you life equal to the number of creatures you control. So they gain four. And they gain two from this, so that's six. Oh, and then they gain two more, three more from this. So that's nine. That would explain the 29 that they're at. However, that being the case, I feel like we're still doing reasonably well here. She doesn't draw us a card from the plus one, plus one counterpart, but she does draw us a card from Guardian. <clears throat> Oof. Rude. Oh, I actually like being able to bounce Zagana here. That's actually pretty sweet. Like, we can bounce our own Zagana and put, like, their Senate Courier on the top of their library. That's pretty cool. For just the price of a cup of coffee a day, you two can sponsor a Draft Boy safe. So, Elk Tears, do we just have to, we have to figure out how much the goal is going to be for, because <clears throat> are we playing for, like, a hotel? I don't think so. I think you guys are staying here, but are you and LaFoff both staying here? Or am I, like, is it just for one flight? Does LaFoff have his own flight? Does he have that skin graft money? Put on top of library this one. Return to hand this one. It's not much, but I hope it gets down there faster. Vixen, thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Don't even no, that is awesome. <clears throat> no amount is too small. Is Tampa your airport? TPA is the airport, yes. One commemorative tote book. <laughs> oh god, this is just getting this is just getting out of hand. Plus one plus one bounce you. Yikes. Our deck is our deck is insane. We get to draw again because of Guardian. Guardians of the Galaxy.
If we can get rid of one of these guys, I feel okay about it. Zagana is going to be an 8 8. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. Yeah, this deck turned out insane. Uh, we don't get to kill either of these, so I'm pretty sure we're actually just gonna we're gonna gift here. It only kills one, but it's a it's a one for one. I think that's fine. <clears throat> You're at twenty three. I mean, I was I heard I was neat on stream, neat on stream when you're not strong. And I'll be the fuff. I have skin graph money. Skin graphs only take you so far. <laughs> That's the motto. That's the family motto. Skin graphs only take you so far. I think the game has ended. You can buy a bag of just cereal marshmallows. Yeah, I've seen that before, actually. It's definitely tempting. I don't know what, what to do. I don't know what, what a person would do with them, but I bet you could just eat them out of a bowl with some milk, right? Lotus Guy is thing. <laughs> oh, man, our deck is nuts. Have we lost a game yet? Jesus. Jesus. It looks the same, but you know it's different. It's just skin, but from a different part of your body, right? keep this hand you can always grow more skin I will eat a skin graft live on stream if chat gets me to Florida wow I'm gonna clip that and we're gonna make you we're gonna make you we're gonna stick to that one buddy you'll have to bring one does your family keep extra skin grafts around because of their their skin graft history uh keep it <clears throat> Can you guys tell me what to eat tonight? I don't actually know what to have for dinner. Yeah, like in the fridge. Yeah, that's where I would keep my skin graphs as well. I don't want to go to Sweet Tomatoes by myself. That feels that always feels bad. You know, we're just gonna drop this guy so that we can <clears throat> mystic on three. Or four, rather. Eating not food isn't as good. I agree with that. I agree with that. Look at this skin graft. It's the one that always makes me laugh. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. <clears throat> I just had pizza recently, so that's not an option. We're going to hot pie for dinner. What's a hot pie? Well, it's chicken Sunday, so probably tacos. I can get behind that. I also had a lot of tacos this week because I made I made some <clears throat> uh, some shredded chicken in the crock pot. And so I have been eating tacos for days. Yeah, we're just gonna pass here and try to mystic out, mystic out a dude. We got Dubs Dubs Mystics. Yes. Correct. Two mystics and they feel so good. 
two mystics and I'm countering you. They have one card in hand? Yeah, we're just going to play this guy. <clears throat> also, if we get one more land, we can bounce whatever they play if it's really scary and... Raindrop dropped off Frankman's shredded chicken in the crock. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Yeah, I don't eat Cubans because they have a lot of uh, porkums in it. They have like three different kinds of pork in them. Come on. Is it four six with Menace? I'm just going to double block it. Did they realize I can double block and now they're like, oh, now I have... Now I have activation remorse. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that was amazing. <clears throat> Alright, so now we can just sit here and do nothing for like a million turns. What are you doing? Oh god, whatever this is is gone. Good 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 gone, my dude. If the top card's a land, we could have played Gross Spiral Land Frilled Mystic. Oh, it was. Downtown, city downtown. The lights are much brighter there. You can forget all your troubles, forget your fairy duelists, and go downtown. I don't really feel like attacking here is profitable. I kind of just want to pump our Sauriform hybrid. <clears throat> they have no cards in hand, so. We get to attack with this guy, keep up <clears throat> Biomancy, and then play Lizrog to eat all four counters, making it a... Yeah, that's fine. Anybody got time for that? I'll take one. Six and twelve, twelve and fifteen. Yeah, this is fine. <clears throat> I just don't care about this guy, so we're not gonna. Uh, we are going to do this though. Plus you. Now eh, we'll just bounce this guy. This is probably game. Yep, and they conceded. <laughs> All right. We didn't even get to play our Lizrog for, what is this, 8, 9, what, 11, 11? Seems good. Wait, so Frank, I'm trying to calculate a figure for you. Do you think there's enough space here, Palmer, to house both LaFeuf and I? Are also, are you okay with driving us, or would we have to rent a car, really? Well, driving you where? Like, if we're all just hanging out the whole time, yeah, then I'll just drive. Like, I have a car. <clears throat> and obviously, if you guys are going to be here, hanging out is going to be our number one, like, priority. But if you guys are going to, like, if you guys have an agenda and you guys got a bunch of stuff you want to do on your own, then, I mean, I guess rent a car, but that seems kind of silly, right? I don't actually... Maybe maybe one more Brush Strider over Steeple Creeper here, just because we have a... Uh, slime Bind could also be decent. Excuse me. <clears throat> Basically dying here. If your agenda is me, then yeah, why would you need to rent a car? Are you going somewhere by yourself that you need a car? Because, yeah, we'll keep this hand. Any two green sources and we're good. G2G. Any one green source and we're G2G. Oh, rides from the airport? Well, okay, if you're going to need rides to get food, where what would I be doing? <clears throat> and also, I, I'm, I'll be picking you up from the airport. That's not a... 
that's not a big deal. Jesus. Oh, did they miss a land drop? Oof. Oof. That's a that's an oof that's an oof for me, dog. <clears throat> I didn't want to assume Jesus. Okay. You got it. That's rude, but you got it. Give me a land. I, I meant an I meant a, a green land. <clears throat> so now we can play hybrid or spider next turn. It's probably three five or five five. Hmm, let's go with five five. Well, they hit another land, but I don't know how relevant it's gonna be. No, I guess pretty relevant. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's good because next turn we can keep up Frilled Mystic and Duelist. <clears throat> Can I house you both? Uh, you, both of you might be trickier. There's two couches, but like one of you could sleep on the floor in the living room. It's not ideal. I mean, depending on how many days you're going to be here, like a, a hotel might be reasonable because it could probably get one for like 50, 60 bucks a night. But then it also like cuts into the hangouts, you know what I mean? Well, we're definitely going to pass here because we have two blockers and a stony strength in hand. Lots of trickums. 4-4? Four, four? Perfect. Perfect. Where does the card go? But the revealed card's on the bottom. So this was still revealed, so it goes on the bottom. Okay. Good to know. Block here. Fairy Duelist, one of your other guys. No attacks whatsoever. Interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. So they still have three. I don't think they're in any better shape than they were last turn, right? Problem is we can't actually bounce. Yeah, we don't have to. It's 7-7 seven, seven now, I guess. If I come visit, I'm Big Spoon in that bed. <laughs> fair. <clears throat> fair. You're a little taller than me, so that's only fair. Frank and the Robble Blues. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Sweet draft. Can't wait to see the rest of the YouTube. Have a good night. Have a good night, buddy. Um, we could play a five drop and just keep one of these up, but I feel like Mystic is just better here. Like, we don't have any real reason. Like, we have at least two blockers, one of which would survive a block. That's a 10-4, good buddy. <clears throat> Doesn't get trampled, though, right? Yikes. Well then. So we can make it an 8. It's sad. We can make it an 8-4, and then we can Sony Silence just to make it an 8-8, eight, eight, and it still dies. <clears throat> I guess we're just trading, right? Oh, this is nice. Thank God we can get rid of this Frilled Mystic for something very, very good. And we get to draw a card. Wow. Okay, that's actually perfect. Speederos. <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to wait till this guy pumps. Or we can just double block it. 
We can actually fairy duelist this guy when it pumps. There's a f yeah, this is actually fine. We just have to find a we have to find the point where we can start getting in there. <clears throat> Which I imagine is after we play this guy, uh, pump him up, attack, and then we can galloping Lizrog the counters off to make an eleven eleven. So we have we have a plan. So this guy's dead. Oh, it gets no, he gets plus four, plus four. All right, so stony strength. Lol, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was wondering about that. <clears throat> stony strength, your guy too. Okay. So they're just going to bounce here. This is going to be a 5-5. Five, five. Mine resolves. Okay. Sure. God, I'm get to draw a card. Oh, God. Guardian's project is so dumb, dude. And this is where we kind of turn the game around a little bit. <clears throat> this guy. Draw a card. Because, you know, like you do. We're just going to do this now because... Oh, we played a land already. Dang it, we're so bad at this game. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're one mana shy of doing both next turn, so... Mindstab Thrill, have a good night, buddy. <clears throat> Two for zero seems good. I, I agree. We traded a Savage Smash and a Stony Strength for a Stony Strength. Raise a gator. So we can actually get rid of this guy. Make it a 3-3. Three, three. All of our board can get through it. Let's do that. We're playing this first because we can draw a card. So put this on first. Scry what we want. Uh, Skitter Eel is fine. We're going to put this on the bottom because it's not going to draw us a card, right? It actually would have drawn us a card. Yeah, this is the best Simic deck I've ever drafted. <clears throat> and it's not even close. All right, chat, let's read what will happen if you get me and Elk Tears of Florida. 24 hour stream. I will eat a skin graft live on stream. Am I taller than I think you're taller than me. You missed my question, but how do you feel about a 24 hour stream with the draft boys or as close as you can make it? Um, I'm really bad at 24 hour streams because I uh, I get exhausted after like six or seven hours of streaming. Uh, if we went in shifts, I could see that working. Um, but I I don't know. We could probably work something out where we stream for an extended period of time, I imagine. Like one of us can order food and be off. Like we could all take breaks. I think that'd be pr probably fine. But um, yeah, if you're uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Send those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. If you want to support the content you find here on YouTube, it's a great way to do that. And uh, I really appreciate it. You can also go to meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. So be sure to check that out. Their stuff is super comfortable and I wear them regularly. Not the ones you'll be getting because that would be weird. But I do wear the ones they send me and they're super, super comfortable. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I will see you next time.